Welcome in our co-host, the Admiral Bill Stubblefield. William. The one that feels he's been held in check this morning. Held Good morning, check. Rob. Held Good in to check, be here. Right? Also, uh, he is a veteran of the U.S. Army. He's the delegate, Michael Heights. I should turn your appropriate microphone up. Good morning, Michael Hype. Good morning. Good to have you here. Good to be here, sir. It's nice to see your smiling faces on this beautiful Friday morning. It is a beautiful day. Yeah, enough of the humidity for a while. Nice mild weekend. And I, for one, will enjoy it. It's supposed to be a little cooler than it was yesterday. Yeah. And we saw your little zoo is driving in. There was a red fox that was staring at me oh, as I drove red by. Fox. Red fox. Uh, Any turkey out there today? Uh, did not see a turkey today. I saw it last time. I saw a box turtle, which they're slow in coming out this year. The box turtle's back? The bo- I I found two in my yard yeah. the last three or four days. I was beginning to get nervous. Like they were not around. Were you able to get here uh, the way you normally do today? I, I could not because of the construction on Meadow Lane Plaza or Meadow Lane, to install the completely worthless and useless traffic circle that they put there on Eagle School Road, uh, which, by the way, is designed to kill somebody. I'll tell you that right now, because when you're coming at Eagle School from Meadow Lane, you can't see what's coming down the hill on Eagle School. So good luck going into the circle, because you can't see what's coming at you. You're beginning to sound like John Botwell. <laughs> he does not like him either. I, I, no, no. I like traffic yeah, circles. Yeah. I like them. I prefer I them, them to stop signs. Yeah. But that yeah. one there, you can't see what's yeah. coming down Eagle School Road. Yeah. But to finish your story... Yeah. Well, you, don't, you don't care if someone's going to die there, yeah. Bill. You just want to get your story in. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, no. I was going to say, you, you started this by saying you cannot come in your regular way. Right. Well, I came in a couple, three hours later than you, and I had just the opposite effect. At the, western, at the eastern end of Eagle School Road, a large trailer truck had using nautical term and run aground i don't know really what happened to him but it, it was blocking the whole road so i had to turn around and go through the traffic circle that you referred to yeah and that 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 new dollar general store there it was a dollar general truck had tried to get in there and he backed down over the edge of the the ravine there oh no and and I think he was stuck really good. I saw pictures of it on Facebook. Oh, did you? That's what yeah. I was stu- I stuck with. The, yeah. The tow yeah. truck was coming That's as I was going to be leaving. a bad yeah, feeling. you can't come in the east side. Yeah. That's a bad feeling right there. <laughs> uh, recently, the Jefferson County Commission appointed two replacement commissioners, and Kelvin Upson is one of the two who was uh, uh, recently appointed. He joins us via telephone. Kelvin, good morning. Thank you so much for being with us today. Uh, thank you for having me, and if I can i'd like to uh, uh shout out to mr mike height and tell him go navy beat army <laughs> <laughs> kelvin is a retired uh, navy commander uh, by the way <laughs> oh so this is how it starts okay <laughs> yeah. all right <laughs> yeah, it is. that's my that's my job is to rib all of my fellow veterans no matter what branch I got something for everybody. Well, you, uh, you got a chance to give it to an admiral here, yeah. too, Kelvin. Uh, well, I can't mess with him. <laughs> <laughs> sure you were. Your, your background, you are entitled to mess with anybody, Kevin. That's good. <laughs> but Kelvin's right. You know, in the military, we're sort of like family. We can pick on each other, but we don't allow anybody else to pick on us. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly right. <laughs> yeah, Kelvin, go ahead and tell us your military background because you've got quite the resume. Oh, um. Absolutely. Um, I'm a 24-year um, retired uh, Navy commander um, and combat veteran. I went to the. Uh, uh, I followed in my dad's footsteps. He was in the Navy, um, and so I decided to to follow him and end up uh, going to the United States Naval Academy in uh, in Annapolis. Uh, enjoyed my time there. Uh, got my helicopter wings and. Uh, 1993, and just went on a whirlwind tour. Um, uh, obviously, being in the Navy, I served on several several ships as well. So um, my 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 degree was in co- computer science. So I ended up doing some network network operations, satellite operations, radio operations, uh, managing the communication suites and combat systems on on many of the uh, ships, to include the uh, aircraft carriers. Uh, got my uh, master's in systems engineering in Monterey, California, Naval Postgraduate School. Um, ended up, uh, <clears throat> uh, then I started to uh, transition to uh, cybersecurity, um, held many uh, positions uh, in that realm. Uh, had the pleasure of also, when, on my shore tours, I was able to uh, um, do some portfolio management and program management for large uh, military contracts. 
uh, anywhere from tens of millions to a portfolio of, of, of well over $100 million. Uh, dollars. Um, and I also had the pleasure of volunteering to serve in Baghdad, uh, Iraq uh, for a year. And um, that was absolutely life-changing. And the skills that I've learned from from that environment is 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 uh, invaluable. And um, quick story um, of of how I love to try and exceed expectations is when I got to Iraq, I uh, I was a commander at the time, 05, and uh, so I went in there, uh, did my job, was was managing uh, all the networks, and the. The person in charge of the, of the director of theater operations was in uh, 07, or in a, you know a, basically a general officer, two ranks above me. Um, in a matter of months, I worked my way through and ended up taking over that position. So uh, I ended up taking over as director of all of theater operations in the entire joint operations of uh, in, in Iraq, and that was managing. I had I had a joint network operations control center. I had every I had over 285 uh, military and uh, contractor and, and civilians uh, working for me, and, and I'll tell you what, that was just absolutely uh, uh, life-changing. Um, the problem-solving skills, the management, the thinking on my feet, working in stressful environments, uh, yep, and running, in, you know, running into bunkers when you hear that sound, of course. <laughs> mm-hmm. That was not fun. But, uh, um, and then from there, <clears throat> uh, I ended up uh, moving. Uh, and actually, in 2003, I ended up moving uh, from Northern Virginia. Uh, my wife wanted to uh, come to West Virginia, so we took a trip, fell in love with it right away. Matter of fact, I think the second house we looked at, we decided, okay, this is where we need to live. Um, so <clears throat> built a house here, 2003. Um, my son went to Jefferson. My daughter went to, um, <clears throat> uh, oh, my gosh, I'm having a, a brain cramp, a uh, Washington High. And... Um, <clears throat> And I'm and I'm just thankful for the opportunity that I've that I've gotten to to be uh, uh, to be appointed to the commissioner and a lot of those skills that I've learned in the military I think it translates very well to uh, to serve in the uh, the county and the citizens of Jefferson County. Well, you may be the one person, Kelvin, who has the resume to deal with being on the Jefferson County Commission <laughs> <laughs> with all of the craziness that's gone on there. Well, and actually, my job, quite... my job is to bring everybody together, work as a team. Because when we work as a team, the, the the better we perform as a team, the better we can serve. We can provide services to this uh, to this county. So that's one of my one of my jobs. I'm a team builder. I'm going to go in there. We're going to work together. Well, the the military going back to where you uh, went, uh, you took the place of an admiral. Uh, the military promotes own performance and not personality so that speaks mm-hmm. very well for you and your team building skills thank you very much sir i appreciate that and kelvin by the way th- this replacing an admiral thing can be a habit if you'd like it to <laughs> <laughs> so you know I mean, rob, do you want to so rob do you want to tell them or, or am i going to tell them yeah. that, uh, that uh, as of today this is your last day so yeah I'm yeah i'm going to walk on the uh, uh, eggshells right now <laughs> Or the plank. The plank. Yep, <laughs> walk the plank. <laughs> uh, Kelvin, why, why an interest in the Jefferson County Commission at this time? Well, I've, uh, I've always had a heart to, uh, to you know, to serve. Um, you know, having served my country for over two de- decades, you know. And, and in actuality, I'm still serving my country today. I forgot to mention, I'm also a defense contractor now. been doing that for... Uh, uh, eight years, and to me, that's an extension of serving my country because I'm still supporting the same branches of service I, I uh, supported prior to that, and I um, and I'm working on weapon systems, um, some of the same weapon systems that I, that I worked when I was in the military. So, um, <clears throat> again, I, I I love serving. Um, I had this opportunity uh, presented itself. I saw the opening, and. You know, and I, and I and I thought to myself, you know, man, what a great opportunity um, uh, to to serve uh, this county. Um, and I, one thing I learned in the military was to always uh, always look for ways to to step up to fill a need whenever possible. Um, and I felt um, that there was a need, and it was available to me. 
I, it was an opportunity for me, and I decided to put my to put my my uh, hat in the ring because you know I, I want to serve the citizens of, of, of Justin County in any way I can. It's it, it'd be a short, temporary, and it, and it was short and temporary. So I decided, you know what, I have days, maybe weeks, maybe months, but you know what, I'm going to do my darndest uh, to make this place uh, or contribute to making this place a better place to live, better place to uh, work, and a better place to raise my raise my kids. And and if I have an opportunity to do that, um, I, as I stated before, I think I have some skills that uh, would translate very well to the county level. Um, uh, and so I'm absolutely looking forward to the to the opportunity. Kevin, uh, we, we know that you are subject to, uh, if the appeal is successful by uh, Krauss and Jackson, uh, they will reassume the, uh, the position. But if their appeal is not successful, you will be in that uh, as a county commissioner until this coming November or the election after this year? No, it, it would be uh, the results of the election in this November. This November. And, who, and we'll... And Whoever uh, wins that election uh, will we'll take over as as, um, as Jefferson County Commission, and then I will no longer be uh, serving in that role. So in no, November, November. Uh, Jefferson County conceivably will have four of the five commissioners up for election. Is that correct? I, to be honest with you, I don't recall. I didn't look too deeply into which districts are up and, and who's in um well, and, uh, and, 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 and so, so I haven't had a chance to, to take a look at that, to be honest okay, with you. Okay, uh, let me go through it very quickly and see if I'm right on this. We have the Jane Tab position uh, that's up mm-hmm. for election in the general. We have the Pasha uh, position, a seat that's going to be up for election. And then we have the Krauss Jackson that will be up for as well. So I, mm-hmm. to me, that's going to be four of the five, if I'm correct. Yep. And, yeah, and Kelvin, yeah, are you I, running I think about for those? I do recall that uh, – stop- yeah, Steve Stolfer is not up until uh, 2026, so that seems to be correct. Again, I haven't looked at it, uh, but I will go off of of, uh, of what you say. And Kelvin, are you are you on the ballot in November? I am not on the ballot in no. November. I am a temporary appointment. I'm going to come in there, do the best I can, and and uh, and then uh, see what else happens after that. Well, well, no, are, I are you interested in staying on the ballot? Are you interested? Um, if, it's not even a matter of me being interested because I'm, I'm actually, I, I, I couldn't uh, run because the district that I would be running for would be Steve Stolifer's, and that's in 2026. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. Yep. Well, I, Kevin, I'll have to say, you know, a, a very impressive resume. Um, when you said you were in the Navy, I just sort of shrugged. But then you said you were coming. <laughs> you went to Annapolis, and that, that piqued my attention. That that deserves respect. I don't care where where you are in the military. So uh, congrats <laughs> on that. And flying helicopters. And, and flying helicopters, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, very impressive. You know, up till now, I've only known you as, as Jill's husband. So uh, you have <laughs> you quite the resume the yourself. <laughs> I'm, You're not the first person. I always, I always crack jokes where, you know, I served my country. I was a commander in the United States Navy, you know, Commander Upson and his wife, Jill. And now it's the Honorable Jill Upson and that dude over there. I <laughs> 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 understand you're a pretty good drummer as well. <laughs> I, I I appreciate that, and I, I do. I serve uh, as a drummer at the Crossroads in Martinsburg, and I absolutely love it. It is just, that's my passion. There's nothing better than sit down in front of them drums and, and worshiping God and seeing the, the folks in the audience with their hands raised, praising God, and me play, be able to play a small role in that. You know, it's part of the worship team. It, oh, my gosh, you have no idea what, it, what that does to me. I want to go back to the number of seats that are up. Um, I, I texted Steve Stolifer to get a clarification on that, and he hasn't responded yet. But on the ballot, there was just two Bill and that's the one. Hefeste ran for one, and uh, McKinney and Mood uh, were. Yeah. I can't remember exactly that, who was opposing who, but I think it's just two of the five. Yeah, it is. But then, what happens if this appeal is not successful? Uh, then do they either have uh, Kevin and um, and James Cook will be extended into next year, or there has to be an election to replace them. One of the two. So right now, you're right. There's only two, but the conceivable it's going to be four seats, right? Well, I don't know. I don't well, then explain but, to me but how. I don't, I don't okay. know that those two, as far as I know, with Kelvin and and with James, who we're going to talk to on Monday, yeah. 
Uh, Kelvin, have they told you if the appeals don't uh, go through <laughs> when your seat would expire? If the appeal does not go through, no. I, they, I have not talked into detail on uh, the logistics of when I'm, when I'm leaving and who's expired and who's coming in. That is, it, just, just to be honest with you, I mean, I have a short period of time uh, to, to make a difference. And so yeah. I'm not looking backwards. I'm looking forward. I'm trying to figure out, you know, you know, what's going on in the county commission, what needs to happen, right. what has happened, what decisions have been made, and what areas can I, can I contribute to in the short amount of time. I have not spent very much time looking at uh, uh, you know the logistics of, but, of, of but you, the elections. You're the, the you're the Republican though, so you would you would be replacing yeah. Jackson, and Jackson came in with Stolifer, and Stolifer's not up right yeah. now. So I would I would assume that you would remain on the commission until the next time the seat is up, which would be when Stolifer's seat is up in two more years. Or yeah, until there's an election, or until there's going to be an election. So we'll get a clarification so, on this as so, it becomes available. So just to clarify, yeah. I am. Um, I am in the Harpers Ferry. I'm, I'm representing, uh, or I replaced uh, Jackson, who's in the Harpers Ferry yes. district. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, and, yeah, I, I to be honest with you, I just have not thought about that of, of all the logistics. That's really out of my it's really out of my control. Right. Um, and like I said, I, I just have a certain amount of time that I that I want to to, to make a difference, and so I have not spent time uh, discussing or thinking about those. Did you uh, the, the logistics? Did you have your first meeting yesterday? Sure did. What was sure uh, did. what were the main points on the uh, the meeting agenda yesterday, Kelvin? Oh, that was a whirlwind for me. <laughs> I'm sure that was a fire hose. That's that's about the best way I can put it. No, I got a chance to meet a a, a bunch of folks. Uh, Mike Sign came in from the uh, the director for uh, emergency services. Um, uh, you know, we, we talked about uh, or we we had uh, Luke come in, the, the county planner. Talk about the comprehensive plan, provide an update, uh, uh, listen to the budget director. Um, it, it was just, it was absolutely, absolutely awesome. There was all types of subjects and topics that we that we went over. Um, uh, hired some new folks uh, to help build, continue to build the, the commission and the folks that work there. Because um, that's the most important thing is is, is the people um, that are that are doing all the work in the background, and we want to make sure we set an environment for them. And so I got a chance to talk and meet everyone, and I will continue to do that to figure out what resources they need um, and how I can I can help uh, fulfill those resources to make sure that they get their job done. Because without them, there is no commission. Do, do you? What do you regard as the biggest challenges Jefferson County faces <laughs> right now? Um, I, to be honest with you, I want to. Talk to some folks. I want to talk to some experts. Talk to the team to figure out what I, what what the, the actual challenges are. Um, I've been on the outside looking in, um, so you know you you hear you see you see things um, on you know, the internet. You, you know there's hearsay, there's rumors, but it's nothing like getting in there and uh, being a part of the team. And and my job is to go in there and determine what's going on, what the issues are, where are the hot buttons. Um, what decisions have been made. So to be honest with you, I, at this point in time, I'm not sure what uh, the biggest challenge in Jefferson County is right now. I, I, I would actually want to make sure that I go in there and, and determine that and then figure out the best approach to, to meet those challenges. Um, again, I have problem-solving skills. I have management skills. And if I can solve problems in Iraq, I sure as heck can solve problems here in Jefferson County. Do you think the county's business image has been harmed by the recent issues in Jefferson County with the county commission, Kelvin? Um, there have been some. Uh, I, I've been talking to to folks in the in, in the county administrator's office, and they have. Uh, uh, I've talked to them in, in not in detail, but in a, in a uh, high level, and. Again, my job, what I want to do is I want, I want to look forward. I, if I was to continue to look back at what the challenges were and what are the impacts of things that have happened in the past, then I'm, then I'm not doing my job. My job is to uh, uh, take what's given to me, uh, figure out how to make it better, how to solve the problems. If there are any issues, what are those issues? Um, 
What what are those impacts? Are there are there impacts that are lingering? Yes, that, I'm pretty sure they are. I mean, uh, uh, th- those seats were not being filled for a period of time. So yeah, there are some impacts um, um, that are being felt. But my job is to package those impacts, come up, uh, find out what the risks are, mitigate those risks, and mitigate those impacts. Um, because when they perform or when we perform, then we 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 can provide better services for Jefferson County. Mr. Hyde, are there are there any particular committees that you've been assigned to that you think you can make a difference on, and, and which are these? Um, yeah, towards the end of the the meeting, I sure did. Um, uh, the uh, uh, one approval of the financial bills. I'm working with uh, Tab, uh, uh, Commissioner Tab. I think I can uh, have some background in in finance and uh, and management and managing contracts and scrutinizing. Uh, financials uh, have background in that, and so I think I, I could add uh, value for that. Um, obviously, uh, I'm the, the Homeland Security, so obviously I have background on that. I should be able to uh, knock that out the park. So yeah, there's, I'm looking forward to all of the. I'm a team player, so when they were asking, you know, which ones you want, I say I'll I'll take whatever you need, whatever whatever needs you um, needs to be filled. That's what I did. So I end up taking uh, uh, many of the. Uh, um, uh, boards that were previously held by uh, my predecessor and and a couple more as well. Jefferson County Parks and Recs. Um, I end up taking that as uh, taking on that role as well. So just looking forward to diving in, learning as quickly as possible. Um, uh, there's a lot to learn in a short period of time, but I I pride myself in being quick learner. Um, and of course, uh, the admiral and the uh, and Mikey, you guys are well aware. I'm sure during your career, you've you basically walked into your uh, duty station, a, and then you know somebody walked you around for an hour. They handed you your your phone, told you where your office is. Here's your mission statement, and the, and your folks are down the, down the hall. I got to go catch a plane. I'm out of here. Yep. And so you basically take it and you go figure out how to make it happen. And that's what I, that's my that's my goal. Learn as quickly as possible uh, all the issues that are going on, and then. And then uh, figure out how to to make this place a better uh, better place to live. Had you formed an opinion one way or the other on the commissioners who were removed, Kelvin uh, Kraus and Jackson? I absolutely do not have any opinion on, on on that matter. That is that is looking backwards instead of forward. I don't even, you know, the the, the court system made their decisions, and and it would add absolutely no value <clears throat> for me to to comment on. On, on on the past on on, on those two issues on the, that issue in particular, that's a lesson a lot of us can benefit from. We yeah. tend to look, uh, we tend to spend too much time looking backwards. Yeah, and I understand those are great questions. By the way, I I just I just that's not my focus. <laughs> <laughs> and and to be honest with you, Commissioner Ma, uh, Maji did a great job. I guess a couple of days ago, mm-hmm. laying out everything, the past, what was going on, uh, all the details. He's been there way longer than I have. I've I've been to one meeting, <laughs> so uh, so there's there's, there's uh, a lot of things I need to focus on, and as far as helping move Jefferson County forward. Bill, as the former president of the Berkeley County Commission, what commissioner to commissioner advice do you have for Kelly? Berkeley and Jefferson County are different in so many different regards. Uh, Jefferson County tends to do everything on their open sleeve. The, dis- the disagreements, they air them publicly. We're seeing that with the, uh, with the commission. We also have most recently seen it with the Republican, uh, the Jefferson County Republican uh, Committee. It's, that's not the case in Berkeley County. Berkeley County tends to work, try to find a solution without airing in public. So I think there's mm-hmm. a... There's a cultural, there, there's a historical difference between the two, Jefferson and Berkeley, and hopefully, uh, mm-hmm. uh, Commander uh, can uh, can put that behind them and just start looking ahead and keep things being solved <clears throat> and together as opposed to the public media. Yeah, I, I absolutely appreciate the the, the sentiments. Um, I again, you know, there's rumors, there's opinions, there's hearsay, there's innuendos. Um, I can't, I can't make decisions based off of that. That's that's not part of the the problem solving uh, perspective. You know, I'm pragmatic. I want to make sure that I'm, I want to make be able to make informed, sensible, practical decisions, 
And so the input to those that that decision making process are not rumors, are not innuendos, are not hearsay. It is facts on the ground. Me talking to experts, me talking to the county administrator and her team, me talking to uh, folks like you who are formerly, uh, you know, on on the commission, talking to stakeholders, all the stakeholders that are involved in any issue that is going on. The most important thing is to gather as much information as I can and understand the risks involved with making a decision or not making a decision. There's a risk in not doing anything. Um, so what are those risks? What are those impacts? Are those, are those impacts mitigated um, to an acceptable level? If so, then we move forward. If not, then there may need to come a time where we discuss and we have to make a decision on, on any of these issues. But that's, my, uh, that's kind of what I want to bring to the table. I've, I've been a risk management manager for a long time, and I think that would, that would bode well here in the in Jefferson County uh, Commission. I think understanding, helping everybody else understand the risks and the impacts of the decisions that we make. And, and then once we understand that, that will allow us to make better decisions and perform better, in my opinion. Kevin Upson, thank you so much for your time this morning. It was good to get to know you, and we appreciate you spending these uh, last uh, 30 minutes with us. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You all have a great day. You too. Thank you, Kevin.